Welcome back to make way for Cat. We are heading to the village now. I finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Begin apprenticeship. Uh... It's quite a dull sight. Virgil? How's the village that you have to stay in for three years? Do you feel like going back to Highline again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited! I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see the prickly vines growing only on houses. No, that's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school picnic. Something feels familiar. Let's find Rubrum first. Uh, let's see if we can... Nothing but ruins here as well. Okay. Oh, it's just weeds. Wow, okay, so the prickly vines are... ...taking over. And weeds everywhere. There's Rubrum. Look at this house. The decoration looks gorgeous. What happened to the people who lived here? Wouldn't they have ran away while the prickly vine was growing? I hope that was the case. Investigate. This must be the village bulletin board. So this is where they post all their chores. It's also filled with other people's exciting stories. There's nothing here right now. Oh, Ellie. Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special. But it really looks like no one is in the village. Yeah, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we have only Uncle Arden's and my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? They say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. Oh. Me night? Welcome, witch. You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. No, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. Alright, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Enite, chief of this village. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around? Yeah, I saw houses covered with the prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did they start to grow all of a sudden? Actually, there were already vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first, they were saying things like God's punishment, monster, or witch's curse. Wipe off your drool, Ellie. It's a serious story. There were lots of rumors, but no one knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. Prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. What? 
All the houses have been ruined already and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. But she can't. She lost her ticket. I'm not forcing you. You could stay in the village as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. My line is boring as hell. Virgil, bad word. Ellie, there are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. Even if the vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think that those driven out by the vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. Okay, we're having the same conversation over and over again. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life, Enite. I can't let the village get taken away by these vines. Yeah, you're right, but... Let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I'm... You look tired, too. Rubum looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Rubum too much. Yeah, okay. Get some rest. You too, Enite. We are gonna look around a little bit more, although it is dark. Oh, just more vines, but it looks like there's Temple of the Cat God. Based on the sign, there should have been a road. The sign is broken and the road is blocked. Maybe the god is angry? Is it that cat that we saw at the beginning? That'd be awesome. Oh, there's a nap spot. Nothing to study here. Okay, so there looks like a sh shop or a restaurant here. Closed. I guess it's a restaurant. This house looks fine. A restaurant in a village like this. Can you do business in a place like this? What are you trying to do? Enite is right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no more houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure? This is your first time in this village. You're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. That? I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream? That's absurd. No. It's the village that Enite has lived in for her all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as Enite. You know, you also just met Enite for the first time. I can tell even if we met for the first time, there was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the houses even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right, Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. First person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It'd be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream. In order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. I actually find their bickering a little bit annoying. It just kind of runs on a little bit. Alright, let's go to bed, and then we'll check it out in the morning. Did you meet the flying carpenter? Ugh. I don't know. It seems like I did have a dream, but... I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something? Since this is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. So are you ready to start your first day? Of course. You know what to do? Let me ask what Enite thinks first. Although she will naturally approve, it will start from the moment she approves. 
We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have any phoenix feather left. It will work out somehow. Let's go to Enite first. Oh. Hi. Diane. Witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at the best prices. Diane Greenwind, who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Yes, hello. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yes, nice to meet you, Ellie. Oh, you're registering for the first time. <clears throat> yes, that's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog. Just a minute. Okay, thank you for waiting. So I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? Hmm. The master witch? Yes, I need the master witch's signature to register in the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... Hey, Ellie. Huh? Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them. Uh, uh, oh, no, I didn't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the master witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through that hat? Yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes. I'm sorry. I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure. Then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the master witch is here. You also received a gift if you join now. Gift? What is it? A witch's broom. That's easy to use. A witch's broom. Finally. You can just sign here and here. I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? Uh, no, but I will. So every morning, a witch's catalog employee will come. Planning to be here from 8 to 6... Purchase the items you need from me during that time. We do not accept gold coins, only accept Luna coins. What is that thing called Luna coin? It's the currency used in witch society. It is called Luna coin because it's made of an ore with the power of the moon. Don't you know already that since you were also raised in a witch society, Ellie? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I don't think I called money something else in my life. After all, only Luna coins are used in the witch society. How do I earn Luna Coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna Coins. What? Basically, yes. The Witch Administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incident. Please let us know at any time, since we purchase regardless of the type. Okay, so we could just make extra potions and sell them to her. Special Potion Delivery Service. Every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You could select one out of the three in the list provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose this nice opportunity. Merchants buy extra potions according to special rules on top of usual potion sales. Deliver and request potions get more rewards. Do you have any more questions? No. Alright. The gift? Right, I'll give it to you now. Um, it's old but still useful. Thank you. Finally, my own broom. You can move faster if you ride the witch's broom. It looks like the urgent fire is out. How was my acting skill? You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was all an act, being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. Alright. The witch who was originally here. Yep. Good to know. Okay, apprenticeship. The potion delivery quest is an apprenticeship that you choose to do as needed. If you opt to refuse such apprenticeships, you can use the keyword to do it later. So the broom, we use B. Okay, that's not working. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Enite.
There she is. Hello, Unite. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers... Yeah, you mean they would want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me when I lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in that happy thought. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in that house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry because it won't happen. Ellie, you're so nice. Everything will be fine. Do not worry. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the house. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla, who is a carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. We don't have information, nor do we have a phoenix. The first thing to do is to collect information. Let's look around Kyla's house once and collect information. Let's think about the phoenix later. Alright, we got the prickly vines. Keyword. See if there's anything else we can look at. Alright, let's use the prickly vines keyword on e Enite. When it first appeared, I tried very hard to get rid of it. I tried an axe and also set it on fire, but it was useless. No matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. That resembles the, prick the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. It's as strong as the white prickly vine, but doesn't disappear in the moonlight. That's strange. We thought so too. I mean, it is the providence of nature that if there are strong places, there are also weak places. This is all I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. No, it's okay. It was helpful enough. Do we need to find a weak spot? Okay, talk to more villagers. So we need to maybe visit Uncle Arden. Meet him for the first time. Who is this? It's Rubrum. Oh, he's in his... Looks like he's wearing his pajamas. Tick-tock, tick-tock for a long time. Tick-tock, tick-tock with Grandpa. Prickly vine in the village is not so good. It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Yes, I drank it by drawing it as tea. I dried and roasted by picking only thorns, and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I also make some delicious tea for you, Ellie. Okay. It tastes similar to that thing. Um, it also tastes similar to white prickly vine and little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also tried drinking all of them. White prickly vine has a good scent. If it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Okay. So it sounds like maybe there's like a nucleus that we have to get. And the grandmother did hint at a weak spot. I don't know why I just went the long way around. Can't go in there anyway. Where's Uncle Arden? Acquire. Arden's bag. 
People here are sloppy. Let's find the owner. Yeah, I would like to find Uncle Arden. Oh, maybe he runs the restaurant. 